Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here, and let us continue with the today's GFG period streak. So finally, I'm home here after a long flight hour. So okay, so I'm late to upload the question today. But okay, let's see. So it's actually a very good question, by the way. So we need to find some of Zor of all pairs, right? So we need to find some of Zor of all pairs, right? So we need to find some of Zor of all pairs, right? So we need to find some of Zor of all pairs, right? So we have been given three elements here, seven, three, and five. We need to consider all the possible pairs. That is, we need to consider first of all seven will clubbed with three, like here. Seven will clubbed with three, then seven will clubbed with five. Then let's go to the next element. The three will club to five, and and that's it. All the possible pairs have been done. Correct. Similarly for five elements, five, nine, seven, six. Five will clubbed with nine, then five with seven, then five with six. Similarly nine with seven, then nine with six. And then seven with six, and that's it, right? So you need to find zor of all the possible pairs, and whatever you get the value, you need to return the sum of those values, correct? So the input and output is clear now. So the brute force technique would be, हमें सारे सब आरेज़ या सब सारे pairs form करने, right? So हम एक दो nested for loop चला लेंगे यार, बहुत ही simple brute force. दो nested for loop चला लेंगे, that is i equals to zero, तो j और j की value होगी from i to n, right? And we have answer. As as uh, which will track the sum of all the possible pairs of Zor. We are doing the Zor and adding the values in our answer. We are returning the answer. Let's just hit the submit button. While it is submitting, let us analyze the constraint. So O of uh, n is 10 power 5, right? And clearly we are using a nested for loop. So there will be one method one and method two. So we are using a nested for loop. It will be taking n square. If you put the constraint here 10 power 5. The square it would be 10 power 10, which is greater than 10 power. So even if our code and approach is right, it will give you the TLE. TLE. Let's just verify that as well. Great, I mean TLE आ गया. 1109 pass हो गया. कुछ एक test case के लिए TLE आया है. ऐसा ही क्या? हाँ यार एक test case के लिए आया. ठीक है. Method two क्या यार? Method two थोड़ा सा observation. अगर आपने bit bit wise के question कर रखे हैं ना यार तो आप ये approach सोच पाएंगे क्योंकि हमेशा हमें क्या करना जब भी कोई question normal तरीके से नहीं बन रहा है तो हम सबसे पहले यही करते हैं. 32 के bits में इसको तोड़ लो. Zero, one, two, three, 32 bits. कई कार्य बना लो, right? And try doing or try thinking in terms of individual bits, right? जैसे मैं क्या कह रहा हूँ मैं seven को कैसे लिख सकता हूँ? Seven, three and five हमारे पास, right? तो मैं इसको लिख सकता हूँ one, one, one. And rest all the bits in the left would be zero. Similarly for three, three it would be one, one. And rest all the bits in the left would be zero. For five, it would be one, zero, one, and everything would be zero in the left. Correct? Try think in terms of now one specific bit, bit from each and every position. So what we will say? We will say that we need to find the zor of all possible pairs. And what is zor actually? If you write zor one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, zero. If the bits are same, it gives you the answer zero. If bits are not same, then only you get answer one, right? So it would be zero. So definitely, that means for this one, you must have a zero to get an answer, to get a value. Otherwise, it would be zero again. So we will maintain the count of one and a count of zero, right? So let's maintain. Uh, let's make some variables. That is, uh, mm, uh, that I'm talking about each each bit now. The last bit, and then we'll move towards the left hand side. Right, so we will be first of all we will be using one for loop, that is clear. So for i equals to zero, i less than thirty two, i plus plus. We are calculating, we are doing the pre-processing or the processing for each and every step. Okay, great, yeah, great. ठीक है. अगर हम यहाँ पे count of zero count of one बनाएं तो हम यहाँ पे एक variable declare कर लेते हैं count of zero which is now zero and count of one which is zero initially. Now we will have a for loop. We will go for each and every element for i less than n, i plus plus. Correct. I hope the code is visible. Yes. Now for this column, what is the count of zero? Count c z. Write it down. And c o. Write it down. So c z would be nothing but uh, count of zero and count of one. So c one, c o would be three, and c z would be zero. That means you have one, 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 and you have zero. Now you need to find all the possible pairs. All the possible pairs क्या हो गया यार इसमें एक वन इसके साथ क्लब हो जाए फिर वन इसके साथ क्लब हो जाए वन इसके साथ तो इफ यू सी देर आर थ्री पेयर पॉसिबल एंड वॉट आर वी एक्चुअली डूंग वेर दिस थ्री इज कमिंग फ्रॉम इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द काउंट ऑफ जीरो इन टू द मल्टीप्लीकेशन अकाउंट ऑफ वन दैट इज वन स्टार थ्री राइट सो देर वुड बी थ्री पॉसिबल पेयर्स राइट सो हियर विल इट बी थ्री विल इट बी थ्री आई हैड सम मिस्टेक इन कैलकुलेशन सो द काउंट ऑफ जीरो इज इज जीरो हेयर राइट So three star zero will give you zero. There, there is no such possible pair. 
right? That is zero into three will give you zero. Yep. Okay. 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 Great. Hmm. Then we'll go on to the this second last column, and you can clearly see here the count of zero is zero, and the count of one co is nothing but two. So that means you have one and one, and you have one zero, right? So what are the possible pairs that you form one zero and then one zero, right? This one will be club with this zero and this one club with this zero, right? So again, there are two possible pairs. So what we will do? The count of zeros that is one and the count of one that is two. So one star two. There are two possible pairs, right? So I'm just writing here the possible pairs of zero and one. Here it is zero. Here it is two. Similarly, here again there are two ones and one zero. So again, multiplication of two into one. So there are two possible pairs, right? Why we are finding the pairs again? Because the question has said two. We have to find select all the possible pairs, right here. So now we have selected the pairs, but we need to get the sum. We need to get the sum, right? What is the weightage? What is the weightage for this thing? The last column. It is two power zero. It is two power one. It is two power two. And similarly, you need to go like this, right? What are the pairs possible? That is a, that is giving you a value one. There are two pairs possible, which is giving you a value one, right? And each value has a weightage of two power one. Right. So what I will do here is what I will do here is that my total answer here it would be two into two power one, and here my answer would be again two into two power two. Right. I need to return the sum, so I'll just say two into two power one will give you four. Two into two power two that is four to the eight. I need to return the sum. Eight plus four is twelve. And can you see twelve is your answer? Twelve is my answer. Let us do a very quick dry run for the second test case, test case as well. So for five it would be one zero one. For nine what would be? Nine को कैसे लिखते हैं हम? One zero zero and one. Yep. What is seven? Seven is one one one. Hope I am right. Four for seven right. What is for six? It is one one zero. I am right right. Let us verify one once. Great. So what is the? I am just writing. Count of zero, count of one. Count of zero here is one. Count of one is three. Count of zero is two. Count of one is count of zero is one. Count of one here is it is uh, three, right? And here count of zero is uh, three. Count of one is one. So you need to form all the possible pairs. So I will multiply it as well. You have some weightage as well. So here its weight is two power zero. It is two power one, two power two, and two power three, right? So it would be one star three, the total, the total actual sum value I'm taking, right? So three star one, it is three. Two power zero, it would be three. Two to the four, four to the eight. Three one to three, and the three into four, it is twelve. What else? Three one to three, and uh, three into eight, it's twenty-four, I guess. It is twenty-four, right? If you plus it, twenty-four, twelve, and eleven. Four plus six and seven. Two plus three for forty-seven. Yep, we get the answer, and we have understood how the thing is working. Correct. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So, what would be our how we can complete our code now? So, please, please pause this video here. Use this template. Use this uh, small pseudo code, a uh, skeletal pseudo code, you can say, and try to complete this code by yourself. Right. So, I hope you were able to do it. So, let me show you the full code now. Great. So there's the full code. So we have a long sum that is will be storing where we'll be storing all the sum and returning it as an answer. Now we have a for loop going for all the 32 bits, right? And uh, what else? We have a long that is storing the one count and the zero count. We are returning for each and every variable for each and every array integers. Now uh, you can ask me, Akshay, how are you storing the actual bit at the last position, right? So remember our count set bit lecture. Do you remember our count set bit lecture? What did we do there? That we have a let's say one zero one, and I wanted this to reference just the last bit. So what I do? I do and I do zero. So this zero will make all the left bit as zero, and due to this one, which I have fixed it here, I will reference the same bit here because we are doing an and, and operator, right? Okay. So you can do either this thing. This is this is the one way. Second way is that you can go for even and odd numbers. Even and odd numbers. If you have observed, whenever you have an odd number, let's say seven, five, and nine, right? You can clearly see. Okay, you can clearly see here as well. So this is nine, this is seven, and this is five. Whenever it is an odd number, right? The last bit will always be one. That is for sure, because this last bit gives you the weightage of two power zero. 
and that is why you are getting an odd number right so if it is odd you can just say ki count of 0 plus plus and if it is even you can just say count of okay so if it is odd you can say count of 1 plus plus and if it is even you will say count of 0 plus plus correct correct yeah so that's what i have done if it is even you do the 0 count plus plus if it is odd you do the 1 count plus plus now we have divided by 2 why is that done here again if you have remembered our count set bit lecture right if it is 101 and you have you are done with the last bit and you need to go to the second last bit right if you divide 101 in the binary representation let's say n is nothing but uh, 5 if you divide by 2 it will give you 2 and if you represent it in the binary representation it is 10 now if you observe this 10 okay in this 101 if i remove the last bit it will become 10 what is the operation i'm doing i'm doing n equals to n by 2 in the terms of bitwise you can even write it as right shift one it is the same right so just to make the task simple i have ignored all the bitwise thing here you, you could have used and operator here you could have used right shift operator right it's up to you guys now at the last we are taking the all the possible pairs that is the zero count in the one count and then multiplying with its weightage now what is one star i we are multiplying with two star zero two star one and two star two right if i say one if i say x left shift 1 I am saying that x is multiplied with 2 power 1 if I say left shift 2 then I am saying that x is multiplied with 2 power 2 right so that is why the left shift operator is here with the i because at the first we need to multiply the weight is 0 0 and 0 uh, we can get it from the ith ith uh, variable we are going from i 0 to 32 right that is it yeah let's just hit this one I have give you many 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 code walkthrough enough code walkthrough for this code Consider that you are a pure beginner here, right? So this code got submitted. Great. So what would be the time constraint now? It is O of n. And we are doing this code in O of 32 into n. Definitely ignoring the constraint would be O of n. What is the space complexity? We are not using any space instead of declaring some variables. It would be O of 1. So great here. So we have discussed two approaches. One is one is deforming all the possible pairs. That is O of n square. We have discussed the method 2 approach, which is O of n. And do not forget this approach here. Whenever you are stuck in a bitwise problem, you brute force curly bit of what do you You can break it in 32 bit form first of all. Okay? And try to think in terms of column wise now. Can we do something on the columns? Like considering the each bit from the same position, from the same weightage of each and every number and can you do something? Like definitely you will get the answer. There are many more questions based on this same logic. If you have uh, learned bitwise or have uh, read bitwise anything uh, regarding your DSA thing and you know, from whichever sites you wanted you must have definitely went with tons of questions who can which can be solved with this technique right so do not ever forget this it is very handy in an interview in an coding aspect as well right let's just now end this video and till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care let us meet tomorrow in the next period week one last thing I have not showed you the sequence code let me just hit the summit button it's the same thing instead of long we have a long long and all the source code would be available to you in my DSA repository तब तक के लिए मिलते हैं यार अगर सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो कर दो मिलते हैं कल बाय बाय